you got here, Emma? Oh, just some little scones. They're just uh, flour, butter, milk, and an egg. Like a bannock scone, like yeah. A bannock scone. Lovely. Um, they're nice with jam. I bet. It's just something quick to do. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, as you might have gathered, we've managed to get power, power back, back just yeah. uh, just like this morning, didn't we? Ago. Yeah. About half an hour ago. So we're back. Uh, we're back in business, and we've got some catching up to do. I think. Yeah, we have today. Husband, show us what you made then. Wow! It's like a rooster with long legs. And we also made legs. And you did that with twigs and and a, a, a glue gun. And I made a snake. Oh, you got a baby snake. <laughs> that is lovely. And you got your little snake. Look. So you do it with a glue gun. That's very creative. I'm very impressed, Aspen. Take a picture of the log. And lobster. Take a picture of the log. You love lobster, don't you? Take a picture of the Two lobsters, look. Two lobsters went to a clam bait. End, end of story. <laughs> That's really good. I'm very impressed. Very creative. Oh, we just need a baby snake, eh? Level up, baby snake, you know. Level up. Level up! So we're day two after the storm. We didn't recover many of the uh, sunflowers. And that one's looking a bit sad, so it doesn't look like he's going to make it. Um, but the garden is looking, apart from those rather sad looking sunflowers, uh, most of the, the, the down sunflowers as you see have gone into the compost. But uh, we, we've also pulled a lot of produce out of the garden as well that was ripe, that uh, ripened over the two days that, of the storm. So, it's all looking good and coming quickly back to full functionality. Not bad, is it, if we're just down the road? It's beautiful. Oh, it's low. Low, how low? Wow. Super low. Does it? It's a nice little picnic area, though. Lovely, yeah. So we come to this beautiful lake. What's the name of it, Em? Maliga. Maliga Lake. Maliga Lake. Yeah. And it's like, what, five minutes down the road from the house? Yeah. Which is just over that way, probably somewhere. Uh-huh. So what we're we doing, we're frying up some red cabbage and we've got some rice left over from yesterday to fry up and some eggs, right? Yeah, some eggs, some tomatoes, some cucumber. Yeah. Yeah. And all the accoutrement to make us a fried rice with this gorgeous cabbage. Nice. 
I'm a big fan of red cabbage. There's some fishing going on and I think Aspen's trying to catch baby fish. <laughs> so I'll bring you back a little closer to the time that's cooked. So with the trademark efficiency, she's now put the eggs in, that's cooking up, and then I think the rice will go in. Lovely. You'd think it, the um, red cabbage would stain things more, but it doesn't when you fry it, does it? It does mostly, no. No. It does mad. a bit, but not mad. Matter. Yeah. No, it doesn't matter. It all goes down the same hole, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe we'll go and get you a nut next time we're in the shop. Ready in a couple of minutes. Delicious. That's turned a really nice colour. Love, love that. Yeah, it's it's nice great, isn't it? it? Really nice colour. I like that cast iron skillet. That's so yeah, good. Yeah, this gets well used. I can imagine. Well used. Well, it's a cool tool. That's why. I think every good shit. It's a good bottom on it as well. I'd like that. Just a bit of Worcestershire sauce. Bit of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. And a bit of soy. <laughs> Bless you. That's a good one, height. I've developed the knack of sneezing inside my jumper nowadays. <laughs> Go away. Oh wait, get the jacket. Lovely, that'll soon be ready. So we'll no doubt enjoy scoffing that. When my kids are enjoying the lake. Laura's gone fishing somewhere we can't see. Uh, I think the float's over there. So she's. Oh, Laura's gone. I have no idea. Fantastic. That was a lovely meal. Really enjoyed that. Nice little picnic by the lake. Somebody's still got his generator on over there. So we must assume that this side of the lake they're not connected yet. So. Arrowhead, you said. Um, Arrowhead, yeah. And what you can eat? I think you can eat the roots. Yeah. I'm going to look it up when I get home. Yeah, yeah. A frog. Oh, you got a little froggy. He looks healthy, doesn't he? he looks really good. Yeah. You need to go and clever catching so froggies. He wants to hold the frog. That's not us who left that bottle, by the way, but we will be the ones that clear it up. That's Sweet Gale, you said. This, yeah, sweet, this... all this is Sweet Gale. Yeah. And it's a herb you can use. And all these are little nutlets. <laughs> what characters does it bring to the dish? Is it like... It's a bit... Oh. It's very aromatic. It is very aromatic. 
Wow, that is quite impressive. It goes well with chicken, I would say. Oh, chicken, yeah, I would have thought so. Anything lemony and yeah, aromatic like that. And fish. We'll get some of those. Yeah. Yeah, we'll pick some with some nut lips on. Yeah, they're not shabby at all. Yeah, see these? Yeah. We'll pick a load of the nut lips on. Yeah. And I can dry them. The little clusters, them. yeah. Yeah, canoeish. Yeah, it's nice. And it is really nice on the canoe. Oh, lovely. So, um, just browning off with some yarrow stalks and some sweet fern cactus. Lovely. And pepper. Black pepper, yeah. Black pepper. And some alder cactus. Alder cactus, lovely. And we're just browning it off. Nice, 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 isn't it? Perfect. It's a nice big piece of meat. Yeah, it is, isn't it? A lot of nutrition there. And then we'll just throw some um, smashed garlic, some onion, some zucchini that needs using up, yeah. and some carrots in here with some uh, beet wine. Oh, lovely. Oh, the wine, that'll give it some uh, nice flavour, yeah, won't we'll it? just put it in the oven. Giving it a good old feel. Right, let's have a look at these veggies. This is all going in. Zucchini, carrots. And the usual suspects, onion and garlic. And we'll put some wild juniper in it as well. Oh, and wild juniper. These are ones you collected yourself, yeah? Yeah, from just down the road. Wild juniper, boys and girls. Lovely. Yeah, wonderful. That's going to taste amazing. See in the ends. Isn't it sure? The oven has just gone off, ready? There we go. Wow. The herbal smells in this kitchen are 
You don't worry about what came No, off. no, no, it all gets. Onions, garlic now, and onions. I do the same, I just throw my garlic in, smash. Carrot. And these are the junipers. Yeah. Not too many of them. No, they they give a lot of bang to the book, don't they, juniper? Yeah. Yeah, really good. Righteous, that is absolutely righteous. What? More alder catkin. Alder catkin around the edge. That's a nice principal flavouring of this dish, I think. Yeah. A bit more sweet fern. Sweet catkin. fern. That's sweet fern catkin. That's sweet fern catkin. Oh, wow. Yeah, lovely. So stock. Yeah. That's wine. Wine. Yeah. That's uh, what wine went into it. Your That's homemade beach wine. Beach yeah, wine. Beach yeah. Wine. Oh, you should be here, boys and girls. Get a scent of that. Right, it's going in the oven. Oh, that's perfect, though. That's hot. I'll just get my glove. All right. And what sort of oven's that going into and for how long? 360. 360 Fahrenheit. That's Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's about 185 then. Something like that. There you go. Lovely. So what? No. What stage are we at with this venison roast? Um, oh, it's still a while off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a little while off. I'm just putting a bit more liquid in it. A bit more liquid, and that'll yeah. go back in the oven. go back in now. Tell us about these spuds then, uh, uh, Emma. Potatoes in mint and rose, uh, mint and thyme with some bacon grease. Oh, lovely. And that bacon grease will give them a lovely flavour. And just some garden green beans now, cut, cutting up. Green and purple green and beans. Purple. Nice. Elijah's putting the pastry together and he's already mixed the apples with the spices and coconut sugar. And this is going to be an excellent apple pie. Judging by the interest he's drawing from his rather young audience, with wild apples that were... Oh yeah, with these wild apples, weren't they? Recovered yeah. from uh, from on the trail. So, that's a free meal, boys and girls, pretty much. Yeah. So you're just transferring the stock vegetables out? Yeah, just into the dish there. Nice. It'll all get eaten, I'm sure. And that's a rich venison gravy there, isn't it, really? Yes. On those, I'll just warm back up one manure at a time. Just put them back in. Super. Let's get a sneak preview of the venison. Yeah. Lovely. Sausages. Super gravy. And then lovely spuds. And that's the pie, the apple pie at the back, is it? Yes. Yummy. They do look. What you've done, Aspen? These are Mayers, but the rest are all mine. Oh, those on this side are Mayers, and all the rest are yours. No, that was the, my two. I have two. What is the filling in these? That's cheese, cheese. 
So use crackers and normal crackers. Oh, brilliant. That's good this work. Nice. She put blueberries in that one and cheese in her other one. A blueberry in one and cheese in the other. <laughs> okay, I'm sure they'll be lovely. Yeah, we can see the porcupines got on the nose of the poor old sheep. And what we're doing now is we're going to try and rescue her. Oh, they got good, didn't you? I don't grab them. Wow, oh. they're in deep. Yeah, okay. Steady pull. Yeah, you're doing a steady pull. <coughs> they're okay. That's quite I know. Number there. You've got to get out of my girl. I'm... This is why you need to do it in the barn. She's got a backrest. Yes. Trying to do this outside with no force on her. Yeah. You're not going to do it. She's getting better by the minute, she'll know. See how much they're in. They're awful. They're good up and again. They're okay. They're okay. Yeah, I'll be still there on the lips. Oh. She's a poor girl. She's being rather brave though. Yeah. Well, it's to wrap the bloody cow's head it's probably so. hurting less and less each time you take one out actually that's so my love I'll get them all I have to try and get oh, them they can get infected poor girl. there you are let's see I'm trying to help don't go near porcupines it's not a good idea no it's definitely not the reason why it hurts is because they're barbed. So they go in, they're like an arrow. Yeah. They go in easy. And it's bleeding as they out. come out. But it's... Or even in its mouth. Did you try and eat it or something? Yeah, that okay. was nasty one. That one stung. Oh, okay. I'm getting that. Quite a few, isn't there? They're vicious, oh, okay. aren't they? Oh, yeah. Poor little girl. It's a good defence, isn't it? It is. Yeah, they're barbed, so they don't come out easy. Oh, that's a massive one. That I was know. a hurter. Not yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, we'll get them Some of them big ones are going to hurt. That one was in very off deep. Yeah, we're we'll okay. Hurts not, but it'll be a lot better when you're done. You'll be able to eat grass again without agony. Be brave. Yeah. Yeah. There's one in a nostril as well. Yeah, I see that. And there's some little ones in the top of the beak. There is. Mm. You need some needle nose pliers, don't you? Mm. Like them. The she's meatier and she's a Suffolk. So I need a head that way a bit. Good. And just those little really bad. Although they're not so little, they're just really bedded in. I'm not sure if there's any more. There is. Oh, he's a bad one. Blimey, that's all. I don't know, is that it, Elijah? You can, can taste her own yeah. blood now, she's a bit worried. Is that one there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, two. Yeah. Oh, the size of them. Oh, yeah. we're in deep, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Is that your lot? Any in that lot? Just open the barn. Good girl, she's been very brave, I thought. This is the moment of truth with the apple pie and if, if you'd seen like I had everything that went into it I think you'd appreciate it.
Don't worry about it being pretty. Don't worry about it being pretty. That'll look great. That's excellent. Who's next for a piece? I love that bit. Wow. If you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.